The Great Lakes rise and fall on a predictable cycle. Well, at least they used to. I went to Door County to meet with researchers who are studying the lake levels and how they affect Wisconsin's diverse ecosystems, specifically ridge and swale ecosystems. Ridge and swale ecosystems are found throughout the Great Lakes region, and they have a lot of rare and endangered species, but they're being threatened by extreme lake level changes. And how are those lake levels affecting the forests and the plants? Well, it has to do with what's going on underground, where the lake levels meet the groundwater. So near the coasts, the Great Lakes and groundwater aren't separate, they're connected. So when lake levels go up, the groundwater rises, and when lake levels go down, the groundwater drops. So how does this all affect the trees? To figure out, a team led by Steve Lohide, funded by the Wisconsin Water Resources Institute, they're monitoring these ecosystems in two ways. First, they've set up sensors that track groundwater every 15 minutes. And second, they take cores of old red and white pine trees and they read the tree rings. Some of these trees are more than 100 years old, meaning that each tree holds a century's worth of clues about past water levels. But why does this matter? I think what makes this research so important is that it's not just about understanding the past, it's about preparing for the future. By learning how ridges and swales respond to changing lake levels, science can help places like the Ridges Sanctuary make better decisions to protect these rare ecosystems. There's a lot more to say on this, so watch the full video in our YouTube.